Hey guys, welcome. Today we're taking a look at the Crucial X6, just released uh, not too long ago here. It's a small portable SSD. Uh, this is the two terabyte version, and this one promises up to 540 megabytes per second read speeds. Uh, it says up to 440 megabytes per second uh, speeds, but that they mean read speeds, uh, not write speeds. I assume those are much lower, but we're gonna get into the tests um, after we do a quick little bit uh, of an unboxing. Um, this we tested uh, a year ago. This is kind of the younger brother to the Crucial X8. This is uh, came out last year, end of last year. Uh, this is the one terabyte Crucial X8 portable SSD. I was relatively surprised with this one and um, overall I've been using it since for a drive for uh, video work uh, because it's uh, really robust, it's really portable. Uh, it's quoted at the Crucial uh, X8 is quoted at getting uh, uh, 1,050 megabytes per second uh, read speeds, but uh, we were able to get 984.25 uh, megabytes per second in our benchmarks, which is really good for a portable SSD, So, and it's uh, worked out well for media work. Um, now, what I'm curious about is this one here, uh, at about, not uh, just over half uh, of the quoted speed at 540, see if we can get close to that, so we'll do some benchmarks. Uh, but also, I'm uh, quite intrigued with uh, the size. So the size of this one here, 11 millimeters uh, in length, 69 millimeters in width, and 64 millimeters in height. And they do say that uh, you can drop this one up to uh, six uh, and a half feet or two meters uh, in height without damaging or having any data uh, degradation, um, which is good. Uh, that's uh, keep in mind, uh, they do uh, note that that's on a carpeted surface. Uh, the Crucial X8, which was interesting, I think is uh, they had it at seven and a half feet, which so I'm curious why uh, even uh, the, kind of the lighter version of uh, this one um, wouldn't be able to substantiate quite as much of a fall, but uh, no complaints there. Six and a half feet uh, is still uh, is still pretty lofty. Yeah, seven and a half feet for the Crucial X8. So a, a foot more, you can drop it. Uh, not that that matters too much, but uh, I'd be curious to actually test that out. Uh, also to note uh, is that the Crucial X6 uh, does not come with one of these ones. Um, it comes with a USB-C to a USB-C, does not come with a USB-C to a USB-A. Uh, uh, so if you don't have a uh, USB-C, uh, you want one of these, you can probably get them for about 10 bucks. Uh, whereas the Crucial X8 does come with that included in the box. So you can f uh, factor that into the costs. Let's take a look at the two terabyte version of the Crucial X6. So we're gonna pop this bad boy uh, open. Um, overall in shipping, uh, there was kind of some dents in the box, which is okay. Uh, but um, looks like it was thrown around a little bit, but I digress. I'm just gonna open it up, see what's inside, which there'll be no surprises. All right, here is the Crucial X6 in all its beauty and form and small form factor size. Uh, quite honestly, uh, initial thoughts when I took it out, I actually envisioned it being a, a teeny bit smaller but it is very small and compact and here I'll show you close to the Crucial X8 um, you know if you put them here I'll take it out of the package first but um, it is smaller but not in height so let's slide that out so wow it's actually surprisingly light it's really light like I'd say like USB key sort of light <laughs> um, wow it's kind of like almost airy uh, but also feels robust at the same time. The actual casing is not as not as uh, secure feeling as the X8. This one, so I, when I pick up the X8, it, it does have a little heft to it. Uh, side by side, you can see a teeny bit taller. It's kind of this big square almost. And uh, put them like this. Uh, the size is, uh, yeah, as you can see. Kind of the width is almost the equivalent, but uh, height is more, but width isn't. Uh, and it's also lighter and more airy, which is interesting. But it is a different plastic. I don't know if you can see that. It is a, it seems like it's a, it's a tough plastic, but it's no X8. This is like a metal, right? You can see some scratches there, but, and then almost this kind of rubber uh, endings to it, uh, rubber like ends to the X8. So that I don't like as much, but I do like the size and it looks like an, like it almost looks like an, I can just pop this end off 
and get inside relatively quick. And then we have the instructions that come with it. And then the only other thing is the USB-C uh, to USB-C uh, cord. But um, like I said, if you do not have a USB-C end, you, you might want to get one of these ones. It's uh, about 10 bucks uh, to USB-A. Okay, we're gonna do a quick little benchmark here on the Crucial X6. Uh, what we're using today is just the basic benchmark the, uh, using the Crystal Disk Mark uh, version 7.00. Uh, what we're going to do is do five runs of one uh, five runs of uh, one gigabyte files onto the Crucial X6, and then we'll report in megabytes per second uh, what we get um, and see if we can get up to the quoted speeds. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. We have the final benchmark here at 568.33 megabytes read speeds on the Crucial X6 and 523.66 megabytes per second for write speeds, uh, which is uh, actually phenomenal for this drive. I wasn't expecting this. Mm, the drive is quoted at 540 megabytes per second. Uh, sequential read speeds from uh, uh, Crucial themselves right on the box, and we've exceeded that at 568.33, and even got close to that uh, with our write speeds. Uh, not that that is the quoted write speed, but I'm surprised that we even got fairly close at 523.66. So. Overall, relatively impressed that uh, you know we didn't undercut what they were quoting, and we were able to get over over the read speeds, which is which is uh, really good to see, especially for a consumer uh, portable SSD like this. So, uh, quite pleased there. So now I want to compare just quickly uh, the results we got on the Crucial X8, which came out last year, and this was on the one terabyte version, but it should perform very similarly. Last year we got 984.25 uh, megabytes per second uh, read speeds and write speeds at 974.89. And then when you compare that to the X6 at uh, 568.33 read, uh, megabytes per second read speeds and 523.66 megabytes per second write speeds, uh, we can see that obviously the, the X8 we know that performed a lot better, uh, but for a cheaper, smaller drive, uh, in comparison it's not too bad and then just quickly switching over here I just want to just you know crunching the numbers a bit um, yeah so let's do this sorry it's not too clean cut here but we if we compare the speeds uh, as is the read difference between uh, the speed difference between the x8 and the x6 is that there's a 42.26 percent read difference increase if you go up to the x8 and a 46.29 percent increase in the write difference if you go up to the x8 uh, comparing costs and comparing apples to apples, both the two terabyte versions, the X8 versus the X6, uh, and the two terabyte version of the X8 just recently came out as well. But uh, the two terabyte version of the X8 is $329.95 currently, and the two terabyte X6 is $284.95, which is a 13.64% difference. So if you are kind of hemming and hawing on whether you should get the X6 versus the X8, and you want to save 13.64% or to the difference between uh, 320, $330 and $285, uh, you know, so uh, $30, $50 difference. Uh, if that $50 is break it or make it, then go for the X6. It performs amazingly, and if it depends what you use it for. Based on our benchmarks today, you'll do just fine if you uh, hook it up to your gaming systems, so your Xbox, your PS4, or whatnot, or your PC. So if you have a gaming PC and you want to run games off of the X6, you'll do just fine. Um, and then uh, if you want to bump it up and you do serious video work, so like 4K video work and you're going to use your drive for it, I would go with the X8 because uh, it'll make the world of a difference when you're reading and writing those files, those large 4K video files um, in uh, kind of real world experience. But if you're gaming and you're just transferring files and uh, games and, and photos and videos and stuff like that, the X6 uh, performs amazingly. So I would su suggest that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope this uh, helps you make your buying decision with the Crucial X6, which was just released, uh, which is a very portable, in my opinion, drive, uh, very lightweight, uh, and uh, very easy to kind of lug around. But so is the X8. But so, up to you, what you get. All right, thanks for watching um, our overview on the Crucial X6. If you want more gaming PC build and gaming uh, hardware information, visit us at noobcomputerbuild.com. Uh, where we bring you uh, gaming PC builds every single month, as well as reviews on things like the Crucial X6 um, and uh, other PC hardware. Until next time, good luck.